Hello guys, this is Mike. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to improve Windows 8 by getting a start menu on it. Um, this will really help improve basically the whole functionality of the system. Because when I first got it, I took me like five minutes to figure out how to get to control panel. And uh, I really cannot live without my start menu. I mean, the way you have to get your programs, you go to the Metro screen, hover your mouse over to the right, and you have to go to search. And this is the only way I know how to do it. There might be other ways, but this is the only way I know how. And all your stuff will be here. Like, there's control panel, computer, that kind of stuff. Now, to be able to get this a lot easier, we're going to be downloading a program called Classic Shell. Some of you may have heard of it. Um, it's pretty popular right now. And it's going to put a start button on there for you. I already have it installed, but I'll kind of I'll show you how to do it. So here it is, Classic Shell. I'll provide a link to download it. You're going to download it with SourceForge. Download right there, green box. And uh, it'll have your download start right up here. You'll see it appear down at the bottom, classicshell.exe. You just run that once it's finished downloading. I already have it, so I'm going to cancel it. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer, you do the same thing. And uh, once it gets to your download, well, it'll start downloading. And you're going to click Run. Whoops. Sorry about this, guys. I'm not used to using this recording software. Still kind of learning it. but uh, So yeah, you download that, you run it, you go through the installation, it's pretty simple. You just click next, 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 you agree to the terms and everything and it'll install it. So now how to get the actual start button on there. If it doesn't appear at first, which it should, I'm pretty sure it does. It'll have a little start button there for you, but if it doesn't, you go to your start menu. You look in your programs, you'll see these little shell icons here. You're going to look for classic start menu settings. Click on that. It'll open up right here. You'll see the start menu I have down below. And I got a nice Windows 7 style start menu with uh, all my stuff on it. So it makes everything a lot nicer. Accessories is now Windows Accessories. It's got all your good stuff in here. So, um, yeah, um, if you want to, I'm also going to be showing how to get this particular button because it doesn't come with this button at first. Um, I'll try to find a link because I've had this button or this uh, star button saved on a flash drive. But to get, all right, well, let's go to basic settings because this is what you'll see when you first start it up and you can go to, I prefer the Windows 7 one. So I would click on that and you can change the skin. I have it on Windows Basic. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So it, this is just the basic settings. You can change here what you want the Windows key to do if you want it to open the Metro or the Start screen. And uh, if you go to All Settings down here on the lower left, it gives you a lot more stuff you can do. Um, let's see. Go to Start button up here on the upper right. It, uh, you can disable your taskbar transparency so it's solid, so it matches the window up here. And yeah, you're going to want to enable start button and everything. It should have you on this arrow button here. You can go to the classic button. It looks like a... Uh, it doesn't look that pretty. Or you can go to custom button. And uh, to do that, you have to have your start button saved. I'll try to put a link where I got this one. And you'll click on button image. You'll click on this little square thing. And you'll browse to wherever you have your start button saved. I have mine saved to pictures, and I have all these different ones. So yeah, once again, I'll try to put a link in the description where I got these. I think I got them with a little theme pack for my Windows 7 computer, actually. And I transferred them over here on a flash drive. And uh, you, yeah, to get the button the right size, you got to kind of tweak around with this. I find 65 is the right size for most different size start buttons. And uh, you don't have to worry about button icon stuff. And also, if you go to Windows 8 settings, and this is, will only show up on Windows 8 computers, 
you can completely opt out of the metro screen and disable all the corner shortcuts that you have like this thing will all go away the metro will be gone if you do this stuff so it'll be a lot more like windows 7 so you can do that if you want to if you don't want to have the metro experience so that's what you do for that and um, that is about it yeah you can change the skin of it uh, metro looks kinda more like the metro screen does I prefer the regular uh, what is it arrow yeah or basic basic gets rid of the transparency so it looks kinda nicer with this non-transparent taskbar and you can do all kinds of fancy stuff with this you can change everything I I can't go into all of it but there's a lot of stuff you can do with this so yeah um, that's how you get a start button in Windows 8 show it to you real quick again here it is you got your programs everything here you got you should have an apps folder yeah down here you can search stuff you have your run thing here all your uh, whoops all your com control panel computer shortcuts documents it's all there so you don't have to skip through the metro and look for them every time so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any problems installing it or any problems with links or anything let me know in the comments and i'll try to help you so thanks for watching.